We've gone over if statements in HTML, but there's another way for us to you know, dynamically create or choose what to, uh, to show content uh, that can be really helpful for us, and that's, uh, that's loops. Um, let's say we have an array or vector um, of, uh, of things that we've gotten from our API, and we want to display that out. Uh, a very common scenario would be we, want, we have a list. Documentation for, for lists here are uh, down here in HTML uh, and then list. And it shows a couple ways that we can basically get, um, uh, use, well, basically display just like a list of things out. Um, now this doc this documentation here is a, might be a little bit confusing. We're gonna we're gonna basically show this off in a demo really quickly. Uh, the I general idea here though is that we have our items, which is a vector um, that has either HTML elements in it, or uh, just something that dis that you know implements display. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. So back to our code, um, I'm going to create a new thing. Let's just call this, um, or we're gonna eventually make tasks, uh, like you know a to-do system. So we'll just do these tasks equals. We'll make a brand new vector here. I'm just gonna put stirs inside of that. So uh, let's see. Uh, first one will maybe be like record a video. Um, then I'm going to want to do something like grocery shopping and then maybe something like, um, uh, pet Zilby. Uh, if, uh, if you haven't seen, um, my streams before Zilby is our, uh, our stream cat mascot. So, uh, he's not here right this second, so I can't show him off, but, um, he does make a, a surprise appearance in one of the videos. Um, okay, so I have this uh, vector here. If I just create a new list down here, uh, let's do a unordered list. And I just want to sort of put these in there. Let's, uh, the first thing we're gonna try is just rotasin just like this. If we, uh, come back here, we can see, okay, well, they're displaying here, but inspecting them, they're just the plain text. There's no li around them. Um, I can't just manually add an li. So if I do this for the first one here, for example, it compiles and it works, but this li gets just added into the HTML. And that's because this is just a string literal. We just, we're just, you know, literally displaying the HTML text because uh, it doesn't know that it's HTML. So we have to do something slightly different here. Uh, we have to convert this to actual just HTML. Okay, so let's start with, let's just do this manually here. We'll say, HTML, bang, and then we want an li. Uh, the, this is going to be brackets and then quotes, and then we close the li. Okay, all we need to do is this exact same thing for the rest of them. So then you, HTML, open bracket. Uh, I close li. Oh, and I forgot to close the bracket here too. And final one. Do I? You, open you, and close you. Uh, oh, you need to be closed. All right, so now we have an actual vector of HTML tags. I don't need to change anything else. 
Um, this is now, I've saved the document. This is now a full list. Like this is exactly what we, we expect it to happen. It's rendering the, uh, the tags as um, li tags. So we can see them here. Okay, but um, normally we don't get actual just HTML from our APIs. And uh, the, this is not a message saying that we should start sending, you know, having our API be aware of what's happening on the front end and sending HTML. Let's not do that. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and revert this. So take you all off. We're back, we're back to just uh, plain stirs for, for our tasks. So we get these in and uh, I am going to write down here, let's see where our tasks are. We're gonna take our tasks and uh, we're gonna turn it into an iterator. Now, the reason why I'm gonna do that is because that allows me to have access to map. So map takes a closure function, which is going to take a task and I'm going to return something else. I'm going to convert it uh, or map it from one type of value to another or just do something to it. Uh, oh, well, in this case, I want to now return HTML with an LA tag. Uh, and then inside of that, I want to throw the task and then close the LI tag. Okay, great. Now, after the map, we need to collect this uh, and I need to tell it exactly what type to be. So you're gonna be HTML now and that should be it. This is also going to give us um, an actual like real list. It's going to um, display the, uh, the list items as actual list items. This can be a little bit not great to look at because there's a lot of complexity here, even just for doing something very simple. And if you're doing more than just wrapping it in li tags, this may end up becoming multiple lines of code in here. Uh, so I would suggest probably putting this into some kind of function. So let's say we um, let's name this wrap um, wrap li, like wrap wrap something in a like convert to li. To, to li, um, I'm not, not exactly sure how I want to, to put this. Um, I'm gonna just say maybe uh, list, like list to HTML. Uh, naming things is hard. So we're gonna take in something. So we're gonna take in the list, which is gonna be a vector of, in this case, it's uh, it stirs. Um, this is where you could use, uh, you could put it whatever you feel like in it. It could be something that's uh, uh, dynamically implementing like uh, a string, it could be strings. Um, it does need to be like one specific type unless you're using generics, which is beyond the scope of this, uh, this tutorial. And we are going to return uh, HTML. So in this case, it's going to be a vector with HTML inside. Uh, we can now re-implement this down here. So we're going to take this list, or we're going to get the iter off of it. Uh, we're then going to map it. We're going to take this function with the something, so an item, whatever that means. Uh, and we're going to, in this case, uh, HTML wrap this in an li uh, we're going to put the item in here if we want to do something to the item like format it add something else add like a dollar sign to it if in case it's like a money values uh we have full access to that we have we have everything in rust right here available to us uh let's see then that is done uh, so then we're going to collect this. And I'm no semicolon, so it's auto-returning out of here. 
Now notice with this one, I don't need to tell it what type it is because the type is set right here. It, it, it's very easy for it to know. Uh, so we're gonna replace all of you with this list to HTML. And what are you upset about? Uh, it doesn't implement display. Oh wait, yes, I need to. I need to actually send what it is. So this is going to be the list. So it's going to be the tasks. Kind of, kind of helpful for me to call the function instead of just put it here. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, come back to here, and everything is displayed there. So I like this um, this sort of method. Uh, it's abstracting out just uh, just enough to make it uh, uh, still easy to follow, but also um, not like just huge long mega lines and not a bunch of things inside the HTML to sort of confuse thing confuse things and muddle up. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this is helpful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.